President Joe Biden is standing by his decision to pull U.S. troops from Afghanistan. I was not going to extend this forever war. And I was not extending a forever exit. The president says commanders on the ground advised that ending the mission as planned was the best way to protect our troops. A few hundred Americans remain behind. The president says most are dual citizens with roots in Afghanistan. The White House says it will help them get out if they want to leave. A majority of the 120,000 evacuees are Afghans. The government is vetting them and now placing them throughout the United States. At least 35 refugees already have new homes in Minnesota. And that number is expected to grow to 300 over the coming months. So how are refugees placed around the country? And why might some states get more than others? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned family connections often drive the destination. After an at times chaotic exit from the Kabul airport, Afghan refugees have started their trek to new countries with dozens already settling in or planning to make Minnesota their home. The status that they're coming under has is similar to the refugee program, but it's called a special immigrant visa that is specifically for folks that have uh, helped the U.S. government and the U.S. military um, overseas. Jane Grotman is the executive director of the International Institute of Minnesota, which helps refugees and immigrants restart their lives. How is it determined which states refugees will be placed? The Refugee Resettlement Program is a family reunification program. That means refugees often go where family members live. Grotman says California has a large Afghan population, so it's likely many refugees will settle there. What if that refugee has no familial connection to the United States? We call them free cases. Those refugees can have input on where they'd like to start a new home. We often see refugees are placed at army bases, but not all of them. So how is that determination made? Most refugees um, come are, are located, unfortunately, living in refugee camps. And then the processing is done in the refugee camp. So getting them out of Afghanistan into an army base is, is more so because of the emergency that's happening there. Exactly. Each fiscal year, the president determines the maximum amount of refugees allowed in the U.S. In President Obama's final year, almost 85,000 refugees settled in the country, just under the maximum allotment. About 2,600 came to Minnesota. The numbers started to drop significantly when President Trump took office as he lowered the max amount each year. By 2020, the limit was set at 18,000. Minnesota received under 400 refugees. Are refugees expected to eventually become U.S. citizens? After a refugee is here for one year, uh, a refugee can adjust to get their green card. You know, that's a permanent status in the U.S., but you don't have to become a U.S. citizen, but most people do. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Under President Biden, the cap on refugees jumped to more than 62,000 per year. He wants to double that next year to, in his words, reassert America's commitment to protecting the most vulnerable. If you have a good question for Jeff, just email him through wcco.com links.